Okay, good evening, folks. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the Vasland Third Sector Awards for 2021. Uh, my name's Stephen Sweeney, and I'm the CEO at Vasland, and I'm delighted to see so many of you joining us uh, this evening. Uh, there's a, a range of awards categories that we're going to recognise and celebrate uh, you know, your good selves, a range of the volunteers and voluntary organisations across a range of categories, as I say, from emergency, COVID response, to partnerships, to innovation, and many, many more. I'd like to just take a, a few minutes, just before we get into the main body of the evening, just to say a few, a few thank yous um, and get around, around the houses to, to do just that. And I know it's just two words, a thank you. It's a small token of appreciation, but it's sincere and it's authentic, in particular to the finalists that are with us this evening. You know, fully acknowledge that we know that you don't do what you do for recognition. If you were in it for recognition, you would certainly be um, doing something very different. You know, really, really... Uh, inspired watching the videos round about the you know the, the values that you clearly hold personally and within your organizations it's inspiring you know clearly a, a fantastic group of people very humble always thinking of others so all the more reason to take the time to say thank you very much for all that you do and we'll circle back to yourselves uh, very very shortly um i want to take the chance just to say thank you to our judges so thank you to jane kelly from nhs lanarkshire to brian cameron from skills development scotland david reed from south lanarkshire council and Alana Fotheringham from Volunteer Scotland. I know that uh, there's some very, very difficult decisions to make, but the time and effort that you put in to making sure that we went through that, that process and, and, and got all our finalists on board was very, very much appreciated. And I hope that you also enjoy your evening. Um, I would like to just take a moment to say thank you to our partners as well, particularly across the Community Planning Partnership from the local authority to NHS, to Health and Social Care and, and beyond. I think we knew before the pandemic, but, but you know, partnership and collaboration, you know, pandemic, no pandemic, looking ahead, it's very, very clear that it's a key theme. We all need each other. Nobody can do it alone. And the third sector is absolutely an equal partner. You know, we've proven ourselves, you know, working alongside our, our, our statute partner colleagues. And I think sometimes, look, it's easy to, to go and have a, a sort of default council bash or be a wee bit frustrated from a health point of view, you can't get access to your GP or some of these different things through winter pressures. But I just wanted to, to give that a bit of context, just to say what, what I see, and particularly in the leadership of a local authority, leadership of health, social care, NHS, et cetera, is a genuine uh, willingness to, to want to collaborate better with the third sector. Uh, not because they have to, but because they want to. As I say, we've proven our value. And there's a great platform now for us to, to do more than we ever have in, in, in South Lanarkshire. And also, if at any point that doesn't translate on the ground, there's a clear openness and a willingness to enter into a dialogue to, to fix problems and understand. You know, there's plenty of work out there for all of us and lots for us to do. So uh, I just wanted to touch on my partners and say thanks very much for all that they do as well and for the support of the, of the sector. We look forward to working with you more going forward. I'd really like to say thank you to uh, all the colleagues at, at Vaslan that I work with as well. We're board members, but more importantly, we're staff. I know that we grappled long and hard with this event, whether it should be face-to-face, -face, hybrid, virtual, um, and, and reluctantly, as we started to consult with some of the, the finalists, the sensible decision in the end was to, to go with this virtual event, and hopefully we'll be, be in person, I'm sure, uh, this time next year. But from making up the finalist packs to all the logistics to the IT and communications, you know, planting trees you'll never see, pulling events together like this, there's lots of things that people do, and they'll never be, see, be seen, but you've made a, a, tonight the occasion that it is, and I'm sure it will help the finalists have a, a great event, which ultimately it's all about. And to circle back to, to, to yourselves, you know, a wee sound break from the, the Social Renew Advisory report was um, something I quite like to refer back to was a wee sound break of those who responded best to COVID were the communities and voluntary organisations themselves, um, which for me is you know, really powerful and absolutely, absolutely true within our local context as well. And if you think, I guess it got me reflecting tonight around what would South Lanarkshire look like if, if the third sector just doesn't exist? You know, and to use some of our colleagues along with us this evening, you know, there'll be no organisations like Trust Jack, the incredible platform for young people, you know, our Sparks Connections, we, we, you know, Kaylin still I just loved watching your video, Kaylin. You know, the, the likes of small organisations, particularly in rural areas, who just completely in awe of likes of Carstairs, Carstairs Junction. I can hear the cheers we hear at your welcome, your, your rewatch party. You know, the essential counselling services, the likes of Talk Now, you know, there will be a community network in Lark Hall. There will be no embedded voluntary organisations in neighbourhoods and communities like Older and Active UK and many, many more of you. You know, the list goes on. I think it's loud and clear. You know, South Lanarks is a far better place with a really successful, vibrant third sector. I'm really grateful that all that you that you do. Uh, as I say, hopefully you've had a chance to see the, the videos on the website and on social media, and we can't wait to unveil the, the winners with you th this evening. And I, I guess a, a final you note know, to yourselves individually as, uh, as people, you know, we're all custodians of different voluntary organisations. You, you, you do your thing, and at some point after, you know, a, a short, medium, or a long piece of service, you know, some 
some long serving people getting recognised tonight. You know, you pass the baton on to other people. It's important to look after your own well being through this period more than ever. There's been an over reliance on individuals. Make sure you look after yourself, embrace a wee bit of self care, you know, look after your own mental health and maybe practice what you preach with others. But thank you so much again for all that you, you do. And I hope you really enjoy tonight. We are in for a great night. So I hope you're nice and comfy at home or you're you know, pouring a glass, as I know some of you are at some of your watch parties, you know, so please engage with the chat function, uh, get involved in social media and enjoy the enjoy the night. And thanks so much again. I'm going to hand over to Peter McGee, who's one of the development officers at Vazland. He's going to be our MC, the top man to take us through the night. So thanks so much again and enjoy the evening. Thank you. Thank you very much, Stephen. Uh, now, just to give you some context, uh, the first time that we've done these awards, uh, live and in person we had people in the ball gowns and in full highland dress today we've got people in hoodies and the baffies so i think that tells you uh, everything that we need to know uh, about the pandemic and where we are uh, these days in ages so before before we begin there uh, i do have some housekeeping for you so we're going to be taking a recording of today tonight's event so that it will be available to view on the Vaslan website at a later date. We also encourage you to interact with tonight's event. We are virtual after all, so we're looking for you to use your own social media channels as well as the Vaslan social media channel. Take pictures, uh, give us a wee comment and use the hashtag Vaslan Awards 2021. Tonight we have eight categories that have been chosen to represent a wide cross-section of the third sector and volunteers, as well as recognising the response to the COVID pandemic by organisations and volunteers locally. The organisations awards will open to any voluntary organisation, large or small, charity or community interest company, social enterprise or community group from across South Lanarkshire, while a volunteer and uh, categories celebrate the commitment of volunteers without whom the voluntary sector across South Lanarkshire and across Scotland would be unable to deliver the vital services. A judging panel consists of inde independent representatives from our partner agencies including South Lanarkshire Council, NHS Lanarkshire, Volunteer Scotland and Skills Development Scotland. Vaslan staff did not participate in any of the judging of the awards but the anomalous donation of cakes that arrived in the office this morning, uh, although futile in trying to uh, sway the judging panel, did go down very well with the staff team when we were doing all your boxes. Uh, so while there can only be one winner uh, in each award, we would like to recognise the extraordinary work uh, of the 24 finalists. You'll find our finalist videos on our website. Uh, have a look at them if you've not already done so. And the winners will be listed uh, after tonight's event on our website. Uh, and also the winners will receive their trophies uh, in the next couple of days, perhaps into next week. So look out for that. Uh, all the 25, uh, 24 sorry, finalists uh, will have received uh, your gift hampers, so hopefully you're tucking into them. And I would especially like to take this time to thank Tunnocks for providing some of the contents to the ha hampers. So if you're not already done so, get tucking in to your hampers and we'll start with the first award. So a first award category is the COVID-19 Response Group Award and I would like to introduce Jane Kelly from NHS Lanarkshire to present the finalists and announce the winner. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. The first Third Sector Award 2021 of the evening is the COVID-19 Response Group Award. This special category recognises the organisations who have gone above and beyond to support the communities within South Lanarkshire throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. We have three finalists in this category, all with incredible, incredibly inspiring stories. The finalists are Lark Hall Community Network, Kirstairs Junction Welcome All Hub and Lanark Helps. I am honoured to present the COVID-19 Response Group Award 2021 to Black Hall Community Network. Congratulations. Thank you. 
Well, congratulations, everyone, at Lap Call Community Network. Now, I'm just going to invite Sandra McGrothy, who is uh, the manager of Lark Hall and District Volunteers Group, who uh, coordinate or help to coordinate the Lark Hall Community Network to say a few words. Sandra, how are you there? Hi, Peter. Yeah, I'm here. I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you fine. <laughs> You um, just want to say a few words on, uh, on behalf of the network. Yeah, thanks very much um, on behalf of everybody who was involved in the network. Um, since um, COVID hit, it's been a really humbling experience being part of the, the community network. Anybody who's been involved in the Lark Hall Community Rainbows or the Lark Hall Community Network, this award is for them. Um, we see members of the local um, subsector organisation groups coming together with the council, NHS Scotland, um, sorry, NHS Lanarkshire, local businesses and community members to do whatever they could to help the members of our community. So um, thank you very much on behalf of everybody. I'm um, gobsmacked. Thank you. Congratulations again to that Hall Community Network. Now, next up, uh, it's time for Just Jack to get ready because uh, out of all the awards, they've given me a list of everybody that wa was won. And this is the only one that I can remember that somebody from Just uh, Trust Jack has won. But that's only because all the finalists came from Trust Jack. So uh, it is the Young Volunteer of the Year Awards. And who better to present it than Young at Heart, our own Sarah Burgess from uh, Green Health Volunteer Development Officer. Good evening, everyone. I hope you are having an enjoyable night at the Vasland Third Sector Awards 2021. Tonight, I'm here to present the Young Volunteer Award. This category recognises a special young volunteer under the age of 26 who has made a significant contribution and commitment to volunteering, making them an exemplary role model for young people in South Lanarkshire. It is important to recognise these special individuals and give them their moment in the spotlight. Before I announce the winner, I would like to introduce the three finalists for this category. Sammy Mitchell, volunteering with Trust Jack Foundation. Aaron Sweeney, volunteering with Trust Jack Foundation. Ross Sweeney, volunteering with Trust Jack Foundation. And the winner of the Young Volunteer Award 2021 is... Aaron Sweeney, volunteering with Trust Jack Foundation. Congratulations to you. Well done, Aaron. So I'm just going to ask uh, Trust Jack, uh, and is, is Aaron there? I'm just going to ask, how does it feel to, to win the award? Again, uh, congratulations, uh, and unfortunately, we'll have to move on to the, the next award, but I'm sure we can uh, pass on the congratulations and we can get a, a sense of, of what's happening at the Trust Jack Foundation uh, tonight. I'm sure they'll be parting into the wee small hours. So, our next award celebrates uh, enterprise and innovation, and I'm glad that this is in the first half of the event because I would never be able to see innovation after that. Uh, so, it's celebrating it enterprise and innovation in the first sector and who better to present the award than our very own social enterprise and health officer monica allen tonight i'm delighted to present third sector awards 2021 for the category enterprising and innovation this category celebrates organizations that successfully embrace enterprising and innovative practices it is an award for outstanding achievement of organizations for their groundbreaking ideas including selling products and services to financially support the services that achieve their social purposes. And the finalists for this category are More Fit Gentle Movement Project Limited, Straven, Straven Airf Airfield Limited, Sparks Connections. The Enterprise and the Innovation Award 2021 goes to More Fit Gentle Movement Project Limited. Congratulations to you all. Congratulations to Moffat. We know who to send referrals to after we've ate all the contents of the hampers. Uh, I was uh, there this morning and I've seen the set up at Moffat. It's very impressive. Uh, so look out there if you're wanting to lose a few pounds. Can I ask Ashley from Moffat uh, to come forward and say a couple of words uh, on behalf of the organisation? Hi, Peter. Yeah, 
hi there, sorry, it, it shouldn't be me, it should be Kenny, he's our director, so he's the brains behind everything, so if you want to unmute him, I'm sure he'll have lots that he wants to say. Hi there, can you okay. hear me okay? Yeah, Kenny, we can hear you fine. Uh, thanks, Ashley. Um, I just want to thank uh, Vaslan, actually, for helping us get set up at the very beginning of the pandemic. Without your help and advice and direction, um, we wouldn't have got going when we did. So thank you very much. Um, it's been a pleasure and an honour to work with all the different populations, the most vulnerable people in our community over the last year, year and a half. And we've made some fantastic um, groundbreaking results with these people. And in the words of some of the, the participants that come along, it's been a lifeline to them to have the service that we've been able to provide for them. And we wouldn't be able to do that without the fantastic team behind the scenes, which is Ashley, Nicola and Carol. We all do a fantastic job. Uh, they're the, the, the people that do all the hard work behind the scenes. So thank you to you. And uh, thank you for voting as, as your winners. Thank you very much. Congratulations to Moffat. Thank you. Now, uh, next award recognises the efforts of individual volunteers uh, during the coronavirus pandemic. To present that award, we would like to welcome David Reid from South Lanarkshire Council. Good evening, everyone. I'm delighted to be presenting the COVID-19 Response Volunteer Award for this year's Third Sector Awards on behalf of our scoring panel. This is a special category that recognises the individual volunteers who've gone above and beyond in their community to make an impact during the COVID-19 crisis. This is a select group that give selflessly of their time to help others and in the process inspire us all. Tonight's finalists are Barry Watt, who's volunteering with Radio Lanarkshire and NHS Lifesavers. Alison Preston, who's volunteering with Community Links and Lark Hall District Volunteer Group. And Leslie Speedy, who's volunteering with Blackwood and Kirkmuir Hill Resilience Group. All three of tonight's finalists deserve our respect and appreciation. Let me give you an indication by some of the comments that their nominators made to the scoring panel. Willing to help anyone. Never shy to step in. Give so much. Selfless. Always time for a wee chat with people. Improves the quality of lives of people in the community very committed, an amazing person, a hero. This is a select group indeed, and well done to all three on making tonight's final. So without keeping you too much in suspense, I'll announce the winner. Magic envelope. The winner of tonight's COVID-19 Response Volunteer Award for 2021 is Barry Watt, volunteering with Radio Lanarkshire and NHS Lifesavers. Well done, Barry, and well done to all three of tonight's finalists. Now, congratulations to Barry. So, Barry, uh, why did you decide to volunteer throughout the pandemic? Uh, I think it was just to, to give something back. I think that, as we see with, with most of the volunteers, Peter, it's all about um, sort of giving back to the community. And when you see how uh, sort of decimated some of the services were, especially during the pandemic, it was just that, you know, one of those things where, you know, I can help, I've got time I can do, I can give my skills um, and give my time to to these different organisations and trying to help other people through the pandemic. So um, I was, it was just a kind of, uh, I do like to help and uh, it was good just to be part of it. Yeah, and what does the award mean to you personally? Uh, it's phenomenal. Um, I'm actually starting my work just now, so <laughs> I'm trying not to get emotional, but um, I, I just like to thank everybody that um, 
that nominated me uh, and for obviously the, the, the panel and, and also uh, well done to the other finalists for, for getting this far as well. Um, although we do individual work, um, we do it as part of a bigger organisation and those organisations, as we said at the start, um, are, are crucial and, and are, are a great sort of, uh, benefit to South Lanarkshire. Yeah, and similar to uh, the Sweeney's, the, the Trust Jack Foundation, I believe that uh, volunteering is, is part of the family makeup because uh, your son, <laughs> Lung, Young Lewis, was a finalist uh, at a last awards. Ah, uh, that's right. It's, um, it, my mum's been a volunteer all her days, so it's something that I've always kind um, sort of seen her doing. And then uh, Lewis won last year as well, which was uh, amazing. Um, and he's following in his dad's footsteps again, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm glad you still volunteer. And thank you very much, right. Barry. And congratulations no more, thank you. once again. Thank you. Uh, and we're going to start off the second half of tonight's awards uh, by celebrating partnership and collaboration. These are groups and organisations working together for the benefit of the community. And to present this award, can you please welcome Ashlyn Waters, our Building and Celebrating Communities Development Officer. Hello and good evening. I hope everyone is enjoying the awards tonight as much as I am. I'm here to present to you the Partnership and Collaboration Award for the Third Sector Awards Night 2021. This award recognises organisations that have promoted and engaged in effective partnership working and collaborative projects to better deliver outcomes for South Lanarkshire's communities. It celebrates those who have formed collaborative actions with outstanding examples to deliver excellence. Before announcing this year's winners, I would love to introduce the three finalists for this category. Lanark Helps, Lark Hall Community Network and Ace Cobride Letter Pickers. And so the Partnership and Collaboration Award goes to Lanark Helps. Well done, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> So congratulations to Lanark Helps. I was just going to ask Reverend Brian Kerr to say a few words on behalf of this very deserving partnership. Brian. Thanks, Peter. And um, thank you to Vaslan for organising these awards and to the judging panel. And well done to um, the others um, who were in this category as well. Um, I know how much um, hard work it takes to form um, these partnerships. We weren't in existence. Um, 19 months ago and it was uh, a number of groups that came together to to have some response to what was a developing crisis at that point in our community as we all know and the partnership that we um, developed with healthy valleys cci scotland the lanark community development trust the community council in the royal borough of lanark and all the churches organized through uh, Greyfriars Church for, for effective governance meant that we could all come together and take the best of what we did individually and make something brand new within 48 hours and something that's grown and developed um, throughout the pandemic and is still going and is still developing and we're still looking. And even if Lanark Helps went tomorrow, these partnerships will be long lasting and they have set our community on a good footing for organisations speaking together, committing to working together and making a difference together in our communities. No longer a bit worried about what the other is doing or a little bit unsure about who does what, but just talking and getting to know each other and working for the benefit of our community. So thank you to those who um, judged us as worthy winners. It goes to all of our volunteers. Uh, we had about 70 volunteers at the peak of the pandemic. Um, so thank you to you all for all your work, to the management of all our organisations, and to everyone who has supported us throughout this time. So, Peter, thank you very much for this award. So next up, we celebrate our long-serving volunteers. Now, anytime volunteering should be celebrated, uh, but this award highlights volunteers who have had five or more years with the same organisation. And to present the long-serving volunteer awards, we'd like to welcome Brian Cameron from Skills Development Scotland. Thanks very much and good evening everyone. Uh, I hope you're enjoying tonight's celebration wherever you are in the virtual world. So the next category on the Third Sector Awards 2021 
is Long Serving Volunteer Award. This award recognises the dedication, service and commitment of volunteers of all ages in South Lanarkshire who have volunteered with an organisation for a period of five or more years and to continue to have an invaluable impact on the organisation and those it supports. However, before revealing this year's winner, I would like to introduce the three finalists for this category. Firstly, we have Anne Alston volunteering with Chalmers Church and LDVG. Andy McLean volunteering with Canvas Line Football Club and Jim Harper volunteering with East Kilbride Sea Cadets. So without much further ado, um, I'd like to announce the winner of the Long Serving Award for 2021 is Anne Alston, volunteering with Chalmers Church and the LDVG. Massive congratulations, Anne, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. And congratulations to Anne. Now, Anne, you were nominated by Lark Holland District Volunteers Group. So do you want to give me a wee bit of background to some of the volunteering work you've been involved in uh, with them over the years? Well, I've been volunteering with the charity for nine years, mainly the lunch clubs, escort, bus escort, call line, anything else that could help them with. I've been chairperson for five years, so I do get a lot of benefit from volunteering with the group. And especially in the last 18 months during the pandemic, it's helped my mental health as well and kept me active during all this time. So obviously the award will mean a lot to you personally then? It's not that I do it for an award. It's nice to be not to be acknowledged and I thank the group for nominating me. Yeah, not a problem. And uh, just to, to, to ask you, uh, Obviously, you've you've now won the Long Serving Award. Is there any uh, sort of pearls of wisdom that you would maybe pass on to some of the young volunteers from the Trust Jack organisation or any other volunteers? Just to keep being positive and just to take part and do anything you're asked to do. And it helps you yourself. It definitely does. I've been doing it since I retired and I don't know when I had time to work now. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you very much, Anne, and congratulations. Now we are on to the penultimate award of the evening, and one that I personally look forward to every year, and that is the Organisation of the Year Award. And to present the finalists this evening, I would like to welcome Lisa McTaggart, the Vaslan Volunteer Development Officer. Good evening, everyone. It's time for me to announce another prestigious award at Vaslan Third Sector Awards 2021. The Organisation of the Year Award is presented to celebrate an exceptional organisation that through its services and projects in South Lanarkshire has had a special impact on the lives and communities it endeavours to support. We have three finalists in this category that represent organisations with outstanding accomplishments to their mission. And the finalists are Talk Now, Leap and Older and Active in East Kilbride. And the winner for Organisation of the Year Award 2021 is Leap. Congratulations. Well done to you and all the team. And will I make the pun about leaping for joy? Of course I will. <laughs> so can I invite the representative of Leap to say a few words? Hello, it's Georgie here from LEAP. Thank you to everyone who nominated us. Um, on behalf of the management committee and staff of LEAP, we are thrilled to have received the award. But what we've achieved in the past 29 years would not be possible without our volunteers, our clients, our funders, people we work in partnership with, and the various communities that we serve. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much, G Georgie, and thank you, uh, everyone at LEAP, and congratulations once again. Now, our final award 
of this evening is for the Volunteer of the Year. And to present that award, I am thrilled to have Alana Fotheringham from Volunteers Scotland. Thank you and hello to all of the finalists of the Third Sector Award 2021. It's lovely to see you all here today. I have the pleasure today of presenting the Volunteer of the Year Award. This award will be presented to extraordinary individuals whose outstanding commitment to volunteering has changed lives and communities, inspired others and made them worthy of the recognition. Volunteers are the backbone of the community here in South Lanarkshire. It is important to salute the people who have dedicated their precious times to support individuals and community groups. Our three finalists today are exceptional. They are Janet Walsh, volunteering with the Trust Jack Foundation, Liz Brantham, volunteering with Clydesdale Food Bank and St John's Parish Church, and Jackie Petrie, volunteering with Who Cares Scotland. I am delighted to announce the winner of the Volunteer of the Year Award 2021 is Les Brantham, volunteering with Clydesdale Food Bank and St John's Parish Church. Congratulations, Liz. And congratulations to Liz. Now, you were talking about your green screen behind you there, Liz, uh, earlier. You might need to give a wee iron because you've now won the award. So what does it mean for you uh, personally winning this award? Well, it, it's knocked the wind out of me, I have to say. Thank you very much indeed. Um, I, but I really do feel this is not just for me, but for our whole team. I'm supported by the most wonderful bunch of volunteers at the Food Bank uh, and also by our trustees. You know who you are. Um, the, um, I, I mean, I've, I've done all sorts of things in St. John's Church for a very long time uh, and continue to do that. But for the last few years, my focus has been mostly on the food bank and certainly over the last 18 months that has just consumed every waking hour, basically. But it has been a wonderful experience and it's just very humbling. And I have met wonderful people and made a lot of very good friends through it. Uh, it's, it's given me something to think about when I thought I was going to be retired. So thank you to everybody. No problem. And I think one of the themes that came out of uh, tonight's events is even if you're retired, volunteers going to find you. Uh, so thank you, everybody, for coming along. And that brings uh, night to a close. Uh, I hope you continue the party wherever you are. But before we leave and we uh, close the event for the evening, can I invite Vaslan CEO Stephen Sweeney to give the vote of thanks and to tell all the staff team that they've got annual leave tomorrow. Here's hoping. <laughs> Peter, I think it's fair to say you've earned whatever you like after tonight. You're absolutely magnificent. Uh, very, very well done. But just a few uh, closing remarks from myself. What a, what a night. I really, really enjoyed this evening. I hope you, you did as well. Congratulations to all the finalists and, and all the, the, the winners named on the, the, the evening. Uh, thank you once again to our judges, you know, partners, all, all colleagues, as I said, and I'll leave it to Peter to decide whether you've all got annual leave tomorrow. Um, but it was the ultimately it was the finalists and some some of yourselves were your, your, your few notes when receiving an award that stole the show for me. You know, Kenny at Morfitt, when you spoke about you know the, your participants saying uh, along the lines of you know being a lifeline to the people that you you work with. Barry's humility, speaking about is, is just wanting to give back to the community through this time of need. Georgie reflecting on 29 years of building up the, the charity and all the all, all the, the stakeholders and, and blood, sweat and tears that it takes to, to, to build up an impressive volunteer organisation like that. And, and Liz's, Liz's approach, you know, reflecting on supporting the volunteers and trustees and the connections and friendships made through through volunteering. So thank you very much to, to, to you all. Um, we're very, very proud at Vazland to, to serve the sector. And uh, please don't be shy in telling us what we can do better to, to, to help you. But just before we wish you a safe journey home or a safe 
you know, trip over the corridor or up the stairs to, to your bed. I don't know if there's a way we can just maybe unmute very quickly, everybody, because Peter deserves... Peter deserves a ripple, a cheer, you know, a beer, a clap of the hand, a stamp on the feet. Peter was, it was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very well much. Done, Thank you so much. <laughs> no, so well done to all of you. Thanks very much. And we look forward to seeing you again some other time. Take care. Somebody else is having a party. That's that. The party keeps going. Have a good evening. All the best.